it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Um, I've done a robot arm video before. Uh, this is the Lego Mindstorms EV3 uh, robot arm. Um, but in this video, I just want to be able to have you um, check your cables to make sure everything's plugged in correctly, especially if you're uh, having a hard time running the program. And then I'm going to run the program for you to see what it should look like if it all goes well. All right. So uh, sit back, enjoy. I'll first start with the cable connections, and then we'll go straight to the program to see what it will do. Okay, everybody. Um, let's go ahead and start with our sensors. And all sensors go into the numbered ports. So uh, let's start here with our touch sensor down right here. If you follow the cable, your <clears throat> touch sensor is going to go into port 1. And then your color sensor on the top here is going to be going into 3. So if you're having issues with your pro uh, program, just double check that again. Touch sensor going into 1 and your color sensor is going into 3. All right, now let's turn this around and this is where we'll have uh, we have three cables going now. So let's start with the cable that is going uh, to the claw here. So if I follow this cable, in fact, that should be your 20 inch cable. The cable that's coming from the claw, this uh, medium motor right here, if we follow that, that one's going to go into port A. Then I'm going to go here to uh, this large motor right here. That's, this is the one that's actually in the arm. If I follow this cable, that one's going to go into B. So again, the large motor that's in the arm is going to B. And then lastly, this large motor down here that actually rotates the robot arm, that, if I follow that cable, that's a short 10-inch cable, and that's going to go into C. So real quick again, the medium motor that's on the claw is going into A. The large motor that's in the arm is going into B. And then the large motor at the bottom is going into C. All right, guys, let's go ahead and now take a look at the program. Okay, so we've downloaded the robot arm program. Uh, if you go to your second tab, it's robot arm H25. And then you want to go down to 004. Now, you, what you want to do is you want to see the way the arm is. The robot arm should be going out here towards 9 o'clock uh, when it's ready to go. If it's facing any other way, you'll have a problem uh, having your arm pick up everything in the position that it's supposed to. So this program only basically has two things. is If you press up, and you'll see the check mark saying that it's ready to go. Now if we press up, this robot arm should go up here to 12 o'clock. I'm not sure exactly where to put this. Uh, tires here to pick up but let's go ahead and then you press the middle button ah, I missed it and that's gonna drop it off here at six o'clock let me try that again and let me see if I can be quicker let's see if I can be quicker putting this thing down so I fix it up and it drops it there at six o'clock now if I press down and then the middle button, it will pick up uh, this rim at 6 o'clock and dr drop it over here at 9 o'clock. Ah, I can never get it to balance on top. So that's basically it. Um, if the program runs correctly, again, if you know your old-fashioned clocks, you should pick, if you go up, it should pick up the uh, rim at 12 o'clock, drop it here at 9. If you go down, it should pick it up at 6 and drop it here at 9 o'clock. So hopefully that was helpful with your cables and the program. Um, it's a really neat uh, uh, project and program for this robot arm. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Bye, everybody.